Hello friends, welcome to this third video of the key clock uh, series. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen how we have uh, done the key clock installation, how we have configured the client, how we have uh, uh, we learned about uh, roles and permissions. In this video, we'll see about uh, users. Okay, now let's try to create a user. But before creating a user, couple of settings we have to see. Uh, select the ream ream setting and unmanage attribute so you need to enable it I will tell you why it need to be enabled okay and on the authentication on the required action make sure uh, this is uh, all are disabled otherwise uh, we will face some issues while trying to get an access token okay we'll try to create a user now okay required action nothing is required email is like suppose test at the rate of test.com first name nothing is required will create a user is created okay and uh, let me go through some of the things so here, here the this is the key clock id created at okay email verified we can make it true we'll save it attributes i will come back to this uh, this thing okay this is the credential so not uh, uh, no password is set so we can set the password here okay and temporary means like we can have to disable it otherwise it will ask you to change your password uh, for the example I'm going to show means like I don't need to make it temporary okay say password role mapping so any roles uh, we want to map it with the uh, user so uh, this is the default I can assign it uh, any any anything uh, like any role client roles or uh, any uh, ream level roles I can uh, do it while creating a client okay and this is about uh, groups like if any groups is mapped or not so for the groups also I will be explaining in uh, further videos for the sessions consent uh, it is for the impersonation so that also I will uh, provide a video for this okay identity provider links is not being so useful so and this is sessions like uh, if user has uh, logged in or try to get an access token so here it will be visible okay and uh, now let's try to get an access token okay let's open uh, postman so here the grant type we need to make it a uh, password okay here client secret is not required username test.com password is I made it a very simple password okay and uh, nothing changes invalid client or invalid client credential okay it seems like a client secret is required password and here we can see the token okay so token is uh, nothing uh, so special so here email we can see email is coming here because it is logged in from the email email verified is true okay no roles are present okay nothing uh, is uh, appearing in access token okay and here I want to show one setting again we'll go back to client MS department here if I disable the direct access grant we won't be able to get the access token uh, let's I have disabled it I have saved and now let's try to get the access token again here we can say client is not allowed for direct access grant so this I have explained in my previous video that what is the uh, why the direct access grant uh, is being used we can save it and now let's go back to the user we'll select the user here we can see the sessions so here uh, all the sessions are being created here means like whenever we try to get the access token here uh, 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 sessions are being created and it is active for 10 minutes okay so we have uh, configured uh, 10 minutes so it will be active for uh, 
this sessions will be active for 10 minutes means like like uh, access token will be will not expire uh, uh, till 10 minutes okay and now let's try to add some uh, roles here with like a uh, assign role like let me add some client role maybe add this okay and now let's try to get the access token again copy here is the access token and here we can see in the resource section all the access tokens are required so this is useful means like suppose we have a microservice and uh, user is trying to call one uh, rest endpoint which is secured by uh, this like executive or manager or any type of a role so in this way means like a uh, spring security will automatically uh, uh, authentic authorize this uh, uh, token and uh, user will be able to call the rest api so in this way it is uh, useful now let me talk about uh, what are mappers here what is attributes here okay so these are attributes means like uh, we can add some custom attributes along with the users okay so we can add as many attributes we can like uh, i added an attribute like type and like i suppose this is a uh, b2b client i added another attribute like uh, dob date of birth like a uh, <coughs> 20 like a uh, 12 01 19 90 suppose okay so i have saved this as a string and uh, now we have a option like uh, in the access token this value will be uh, mean like uh, this value should be present in access token now let's see how it is possible okay now we'll go to clients ms department client scope ms department dedicated and here we can see some mappers are already there so mapper is nothing but like like a few data which we want to map and we want to add it to the access token or id id token also I means like i will be explaining it so here two types of uh, mappers are there some predefined mapper so here we can see some uh, predefined fields are already there which should be present in the user but uh, as of now we will not do anything okay so here we can see username ream roles and all few uh, predefined things are there but we are not interest, interested in that now we'll go by configuration here also few many options are there but uh, as of now we want to add from the user attribute okay and here suppose uh, first we have added a type user attribute is a uh, custom attribute so we'll added it type token claim name is type it is a string add to id token add to access token uh, we can do this also right user info okay multi-valued it is not a multi-valued aggregate okay we will save it okay and uh, let me add the dob also user attribute dob <coughs> okay okay so you can see here this two user attributes are uh, mapped here okay and now we'll try to get the access token and see what is the change here we got the access token copy <coughs> okay now this is the access token now you can see this is two chains type and dob so these are the two fields uh, are available on the access token and now I means like anybody has who has the access token they can decode it and they can get the value so this is useful for some purpose like uh, if there is a 
one system one microservice wants to communicate uh, something to other microservice in this way uh, it is useful and now here any user if we try to create here a new user automatically this attribute uh, uh, will be mapped if this attributes are present here okay let's see try to add one more user like a <coughs> customer or let me get a b2b test at the rate test.com okay and uh, attributes let me add it type is b2 b2 b sorry okay credential and this is a new user let me try to get an access token and see here we go okay okay and we can see here the automatically uh, these things are present here so with this I'm going to end and here I have already shown the sessions okay and with this I'm going to end this video and in the next video I'm going to cover more things like uh, groups or maybe something some more topic I will come up with thank you thank you for watching this video see you in the next video